All right, all right, all right, folks. You know what it is. Hashtag it, baby. Clap for me because I can't because I'm holding my phone. <laughs> Vocal Booth Truth with Angela Maria voiceover where we're coloring your world with words at AngelaMariaVO.com. That's AngelaMariaVO as in voiceover.com. And we're live on location. As you could tell, I am not in the vocal booth. I'm sitting on some stairs. And uh, this is very impromptu. As you know, I kind of do these as I'm inspired to do. And it feels like forever since I've chatted with you all. I think the last time was uh, Christmas morning. So Happy New Year to you all. I'm here with my cousin Carissa and Auntie Kathy G. Everybody say hello. <laughs> They're a little shy, didn't want to get on. So I'm sitting here on the stairs. And there's a reason for that. Um, I am at my grandparents' home, their second home, right? They used to live over on Noble and Kasuth in Bridgeport to all the Park City folks. Um, but the house that I am in now, uh, for the last several decades of my life, has been where I've known and loved and spent time with uh, this side of the family. So sometimes, you know, um, I'll talk about, hey, there's my cousin Stephanie. What's up, Steph? Uh, she's part of this side of the family too. And um, love you too, sis. And uh, so for the past several decades, we, we've spent our time here. We spent our time on this staircase. I'm on the bottom step right now. Um, and there's like several things that are coming to mind because we are actually uh, in the midst of selling this home. So this is a sentimental uh, journey for us all, uh, particularly because 2020 gave us some unexpected quarantining time. And uh, a few years ago, you know, our grandfather, Grandpa Crash passed, then Mary, Grandma Mary passed. And so, you know, it's like every year, we went from having tons of feet <laughs> walk through this home and celebrate the holidays to less and less. And then we got to 2020. And unfortunately, we didn't know at the time the house was being sold. Um, but now here we are. And, or maybe, maybe they knew, but maybe they didn't tell me. <laughs> but um, we couldn't spend our essentially last Christmas together here in the home. So we're all checking in this weekend and we're going through the home. I don't know if you can see, Carissa, duck down because I'm gonna just show the empty room real quick. Um, so this room here is usually filled and as you can see, um, it's, it's completely empty or close to it. You can kind of see some of the pictures up on the wall here. And uh, hey, if anybody wants anything, my Auntie Kathy is throwing all this <laughs> stuff out. <laughs> Come get it before it's gone. Um, we are very generous in this family. Uh, one of So there's going to be a couple memories, I guess, that are going to come up as I'm talking. Uh, and that's, that's okay. One of my favorite things ever, I don't know if my aunts and uncles know this, uh, but I still long for the bags of hand-me-down clothes. Favorite thing ever. It was like... Kid in a candy store. I couldn't wait to get the garbage bag full of all the hand-me-down clothes from my cool aunts, right? <laughs> and um, it's been years since that has happened. But uh, another excellent memory um, that has come from being part of this family. So the staircase is significant. You know, earlier this week on Monday, we celebrated uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and one of his favorite quotes um, of mine is, you know, you don't need to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. So in 2020, right, we had no idea what, what was approaching, right? Now here we are a year later, January 2020. And do we know what's approaching us in 2021? No. But I use 2020 um, to just be, to thrive almost. So, so as an introvert, right, I don't necessarily need the company or um, the inspiration of other people to, to move. So I thrived being quarantined, right? I started my own um, business finally, a long time dream, the Angela Maria voiceover. I did several other things, announcements that I'll be sharing um, as the months go on. I'm just waiting for some confirmations on some things, some other exciting stuff. Um, I don't know what you did with your 2020, but what, what it taught us is that we can't wait. We have to take the first step. So I want you to use this as an inspiration. 
And I want you to think, I don't know what's coming up tomorrow. I don't know what's coming up in the next hour. But if there are things that I want to do with my purpose here on this earth, just remember, read Psalm 139. Remember, he knit you together in your mother's womb for a very specific purpose on this earth. Your identity is not in other things. It's in Jesus Christ. And he put you here for a very specific reason. So I want you to be encouraged today. If you are unencouraged, discouraged, you can text me, you can inbox me, you can um, email me, you know, all my confirmation information. <laughs> Just tag me and uh, send it over voice at angelamariavo.com. So voice at angelamariavo.com. I'll send you some inspiration. Um, I'll walk you through it. That's what I love to do. I love to sit and listen to what folks want to do with their life. And if they don't know, I ask them what their interests are and I try to help guide them. And there's no cost for it. It's just something that I enjoy doing. Hey, Doc, she happy new year. Haven't heard from you in a while. Hope all is well with the family. Hey, Al. Um, and so that's where we are. Um, some of the other things I was thinking of is just uh, and I mentioned it earlier. All right, so my grandparents, they had 10 children. And in, in between having those 10 children, there were four miscarriages. But my grandfather kept on, Crash kept on with the rhythm method. <laughs> you young folks don't know about that. And we have this amazing family of tradespeople, entrepreneurs, small business owners, right? Like the full American dream. And it all started with the love of two people. Was it June 21st, 1952? Auntie Kathy's gonna check the date. Um, oh, up there on their, on their uh, oh, here we go. She's gonna show us. Check out this, this tablecloth. Love it. Grabowski family established 1952. Welcome to our table. All these wonderful finds. I just found this trunk full of um, old vinyl records. Amazing, amazing what you'll find, right? But look, a little bit of an estate sale today. <laughs> so um, I share those stories to say they didn't know those miscarriages were coming. They just kept in the faith. Um, I'm going to show you actually something. I'm going to slip by Auntie Kathy. Cause she, Kathy G, don't, she don't do don't Facebook do Live. <laughs> so I'm going to flip it over. I just want to show you something. So this Bible, can you imagine? Look how old this thing is, right? But this is the centerpiece. It's not sitting off on some shelf and collecting dust, right? It's there. And they live their faith. They live the word because the word is living. It's alive. Sharper than any two-edged sword cuts to the bone and marrow. So um, they live that faith. I'll show you their pictures here. I don't know if you could see it with the flash of the light here. Let me see if I can get up. This is Grandpa Crash, Giants fan. That's good. You could turn it back on. And Grandma Mary's over here. All right. So I share, uh, he's a veteran. Check out all of these cool things that we're seeing today. So I hope this has been, I know it's been a little bit longer than my normal vocal booth truth. Um, I wish that I had some whiskey, Chivas Riggle, because we would do a, a toast in honor of Crash. But if, if you got some Chivas Regal or some Jack Daniels, go ahead and raise your glass. Tonya Pia, Tonya Gia, those who don't drink, don't live in honor of Crash. All right? So that's your vocal booth truth. Remember, the staircase. You don't have to see the whole thing. Just take the first step, all right? And that's your vocal booth truth. Check us out, AngelaMariaVO.com. That's AngelaMariaVO, as in voiceover.com, coloring the world with words. You can follow me here on Facebook or IG at Angela Maria Voice. And, of course, I pop some things up on my YouTube that are different from time to time. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this extended edition, and I hope to speak to you soon. I love you all. But Jesus loves you infinitely, and he invites you into his presence today. Be blessed. No stress. Ciao.